Jane Velez Mitchell for Jane Unchained, and I am delighted to be here with the CEO of this amazing new revolutionary vegan dog food. Um, little Rico here loves it, as well as my other two rescues. It is Wild Earth. Wild Earth. We're going to talk a little bit about it with the CEO of Wild Earth, Ryan Bethencourt. Thank you for joining us. Uh, it's amazing because my dogs love it and they are super finicky. And I just want to know what is the secret ingredient? My understanding is it's something called Koji. Tell us all about Wild Earth. Okay, great. So your dogs probably love the treats because they're made with koji. Koji has an umami, a savory taste that we love. So it's in miso soup, soy sauce. We love that savory taste. But it's also, um, it, it, it appears that our dogs also love it too, that, that really savory umami taste. So what exactly is koji? Uh, because what I found to be amazing is my dogs are super finicky. We are obviously trying to avoid feeding them anything that is a dead animal because we don't want to kill animals while saving other animals. Mm -hmm. But a lot of times they, I'll be honest with you, they reject the treats. They literally walk away from them. This is the, one of the first treats that, that I've presented to them that they love and they will gobble up. And that's why I immediately reached out to you and said, wow, uh, we've got to talk about this because apparently you've come upon, you've stumbled upon something that is truly revolutionary. Tell us about why it's revolutionary. Yeah, so, so koji is actually an ancient fungi. So we, we have the three, three kingdoms of life, right? The three major kingdoms of life. There's plants, animals, and fungi. What a lot of people don't realize is that fungi are actually very protein rich. And they're actually from a, a biological perspective, fungi are actually closer to animals than they are to plants. They don't have nervous systems or anything like that, but their biology and their proteins are actually much closer to animal proteins. And so when we eat fungi, it's very rich in protein. And so the koji uh, is actually, uh, has been used by humanity for at least 9,000 years to make all sorts of different foods. So miso being one of them, it's one we enjoy, we very familiar with. Um, in Asia, there's a whole bunch of other foods that are made with koji, uh, but that's really the ingredient that we thought would be the best ingredient to start making a whole line of dog foods. And eventually, we're actually going to be bringing this over to, to cats as well. But first, we really want to focus on making really great dog treats, then dog foods. This is the beginning of the whole program to remove all animals from our pet foods. Well, that's why it's so important. And I think you've stumbled upon something. What I sensed from my dogs is that they reacted to this treat here, not as if it were peanut butter where you kind of, some peanut butter is the best of them, but a lot of them, uh, they just literally will kick them around the floor until they get hungry enough. And then they'll sort of like um, begrudgingly eat it. And this one was different in the sense that they grabbed it almost like it was a piece of chicken or something, like they were they were hungry for it. It, it had something inside it that made it feel uh, more like uh, something they craved as opposed yeah. to something they would eat because, well, that's the only thing there. Yeah, we, we, we wanna make sure that there's no, uh, there's no reason, we want dogs to prefer this product, right? So. The way that we win, the way we remove animals, uh, factory farmed animals from all of our food products, both for ourselves and for our pets, is by making a product that's better, right? And so, so we started with Koji because it's delicious. Um, we love it, our pets love it, we've tested it. Uh, Cruelty-free, by the way, and we can get into some of that too. The pet industry, the pet food industry is actually one of the worst when it comes to animal cruelty, both what goes in it and how they test on animals. Uh, and so we, we really want to radically disrupt the entire industry. But first, we have to start with a food that's really healthy for our pets, first and foremost. They love, and ideally, they choose it first. So we actually had uh, on our Instagram, feel free to check out our Instagram, Wild Earth Pets. We had Cody, who actually chose uh, Wild Earth Treats. I don't know if you've seen this, Jane. Chose Wild Earth Treats instead of bacon. It was Wild Earth Whoa. versus bacon. Yeah. 
Whoa. So uh, Donna Dennison is asking, where can we buy this? And I think my understanding is it's just on Wild Earth. Yeah, right so now. today, um, we launched about six weeks ago. Uh, we are online. You can buy today, wildearth.com. Yep, you can buy today. Um, we would love your support. Our treats are the beginning of what we're doing. So the treats are the beginning of really disrupting. We, we want to challenge conventional pet food, full stop, by making a better product. Well, uh, I love this idea. And, you know, I've tried every single pet product that's vegan on the market. And this one, the reason why something clicked that this is different is that it they reacted differently to this treat with no hesitation, just grabbing it. You know, they even like a little, rah, 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 I want that. Uh, and um, I just thought that it really was 